Hi, it's Keith from Cloud Design Box. Welcome to the video. In today's session, we're going to take a look at how we can link a folder from SharePoint into the new Look OneDrive. So let's get over to SharePoint. Right, here we are in SharePoint. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating in the business version of SharePoint. However, this works exactly the same for the education package as well. I'm in my Insight Library, here's my folders available to me and today I'm just going to go into General and as you can see we've got two folders, Contracts and Wage Slips. I want to add this Contracts folder into my OneDrive. So to do that all I need to do is just come to the left hand side here, select the line, then come over to the top of the page and then just click on Add Shortcut to OneDrive. It will give us a little progress wheel to show us how it's getting on. And then if everything's been successful, we'll then get a message here. So the next thing to do is to open up my OneDrive. I'm just going to come over to the top left here and I'm going to use my app launcher. Click on it and here we have OneDrive. I'm going to select that and that will then take us through into the new look OneDrive area. So across the top here, we have all our recent activity and down the left hand side here, by default, we land at the home page, then have access into my files, shared area, favorites, and the recycle bin. And I can also browse my files by people or by meetings. I do have a quick access area as well. However, for this session, we're just going to be concentrating on my files. So by clicking on that, that's opened up the files area. And in here, I've got two folders. I've got one labeled apps, which lives in OneDrive. And here's my contracts one that we've just created a link to. And we can tell it's a link because on top of the folder, it's got the little arrow here. And also if we come down the line, we can see that the owner is also the payroll team. At this point in time, I can close down SharePoint if I choose and work solely in OneDrive. So if I now click on the contracts folder, I can open it up and I have access then to all of the content that's held within that folder. I can use the breadcrumb trail just to reverse out, take me back to the start. From here, I can also add new content. I do have to be a little bit careful here because if I select add new, I can create a fresh folder, but I can also create documents from uh, Microsoft 365. So for example, if I was to create a Word document, but doing that, it won't ask me where I want to place that document. So let me just show you, I'll just open it up. I can put some text in and then I could just very quickly give it a title. We'll just close that down. And as you can see, that document has now been added to the outside of my folders. If I wanted to create a new folder, not a problem. However, let me just delete this quickly. If I wanted to create just a document, I do need to go into the folder where that document needs to be created. So in this case, I've now gone to the contracts folder. I can now select add new. In this case, let's create an Excel workbook. We'll just quickly give it a title. We'll just call it matrix in this case, Hit enter. So I can now continue to build the Excel spreadsheet or in this case, I'm just gonna quickly close it down. As you can see, that's now added it to my list. I'll just quickly refresh. And there's my matrix Excel sheet there. I can add new folders into existing folders. So if I wish to build a structure to create, have some order in there, let's just call this spreadsheets. Let's just quickly create that. That will then add that into my contracts folder. Let's go back out again, just to show there's my files. There's the contracts folder. There's the additional folder I've added where it's got spreadsheets and there's my matrix spreadsheet there. So let's just drop back into SharePoint just to see what's going on in there. I'm just going to close this a second. And here we are in SharePoint and we've been working in the contracts folder. And there we have our new folder there, spreadsheet and a matrix sheet that we created a few moments ago. The fact that it was created in OneDrive and the fact that they are linked together via a shortcut, anything that we do in the OneDrive will be automatically reflected straight into SharePoint and vice versa. So if I was to create a new document in here, this will also then be displayed through in my OneDrive as well. I can go back into the OneDrive area here. So here we are back in OneDrive and I may actually want to 
uh, sever the link uh, between my OneDrive and SharePoint for whatever reason. So again, I can just come to the right hand side of the folder that I wish to remove, I select it and just come to the top of the page here and click remove. This won't delete it. All it's doing is it's just now breaking the link between my OneDrive and SharePoint. So I can close my OneDrive area down. And as you can see, if I just do a quick refresh here, everything that I created in my OneDrive is still displayed over in SharePoint. If I just click general there, what we've looked at is just adding a shortcut just for one folder. However, I'm in my general area here and I've got my two folders. If I don't select either folder and just click add shortcut to OneDrive, this will then shortcut over the entire contents of my general folder, which is just these two items here. And again, if I go over into my OneDrive and I go back into my files, the whole folder, in this case, the general payroll team folder has been carried over. And if I click on it, that will open it up. And there we have my contracts and my wage slips folders there. And again, I can add additional folders. There's the folder added there. And again, I can go into any of these folders and then add further documentation if I wish. And again, to then break the link between the OneDrive and SharePoint, I just need to go back to my files here. Select the item. And then click on remove. That then takes it again out of OneDrive. And if I just do a quick refresh, and as you can see, everything is still saved safe and sound in SharePoint. If you found this video useful, please select like. Please don't forget to subscribe. And once you've subscribed, if you hit the activity bell, you'll be notified every time Cloud Design Box uploads a new video. Thanks for watching.